Welcome to Sunday School for ages 15 to 17 for January 10th, 2021. I do not own the rights to this music. Worthy of a big calling. The Bible basis is found in Luke chapter 5, verses 1 through 11. The Bible truth says, called to significance. Anita was hoping to stand out among her peers. Her teacher, Mrs. Johnson, received funding from the school district to hire a part-time English tutor to help some of the younger students in her school. Anita knew she wasn't the best student, but she loved helping others. Some of her peers were doing better in the class, but didn't quite have the relational skills that Anita possessed. Nonetheless, she turned in her application knowing her chances were slim. One day, Mrs. Johnson asked her to stay after class. This was the interview she was waiting for. Mrs. Johnson laid out the truth to Anita. We both know you're not the best student in the class, but we also know that you have the interpersonal skills needed to serve as a tutor. Anita was hired. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 12, For if there be first a willing mind, it is accepted according to that a man hath, and not according to that he hath not. The lesson scripture is found in Luke chapter 5, verses 1 through 11. And it came to pass that as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God, he stood by the lake of Gennesaret and saw two ships standing by the lake. But the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets. And he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon's, and prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the ship. Now when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, Launch out into the deep, and let down your nets for a drought. And Simon answering, said unto him, Master, we have toiled all the night, and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. And when they had this done, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes, and their net brake. And they beckoned unto their partners, which were in the other ship, that they should come and help them. And they came and filled both the ships, so that they began to sink. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. For he was astonished, and all that were with him at the drought of the fishes which they had taken. And so was also James and John, the sons of Zebedee, which were partners with Simon. And Jesus said unto Simon, Fear not, from henceforth thou shalt catch men. And when they had brought their ships to land, they forsook all and followed him. The Bible learning says, Jesus used examples of everyday life to teach and draw people to the word of God. In this passage, Jesus uses fishing as an example to recruit fishermen who will catch people who will accept love and obey Christ and his teachings. After having fished all night, these professional fishermen weren't able to catch any fish. When Simon cast his net into the deep water, Per Jesus' instructions, the nets came up with such an overwhelming abundance of fish that the ships began to sink. Signs like this also appear in the lives of heroes of the faith, like Moses, Elijah, and Elisha, and now Jesus. The disciples were regular people engaged in their regular work when Jesus called them to become fishers of people. 
God didn't call them for their qualifications or even their potential, but because they were willing to respond to the call to leave everything and follow Jesus. What subject did Mrs. Johnson teach? What position did Anita apply for? Why do you think Anita applied for the job so quickly? What lake was Jesus standing by? Who were Simon's partners? And why do you think these fishermen followed Jesus so quickly after just meeting him? This week, take stock of your spiritual life and find areas where you know you need to work on. Look at where you struggle in your walk with God and make an intentional effort to follow him in that particular area. While there are probably many areas in your life where you need to surrender to God, choose one where you know you need to work and follow him. Journal about your experience. John chapter 14, verse 15. If you love me, keep my commandments. John chapter 10, verse 27. My sheep know, hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. James chapter 1, verses 5 and 6. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering, for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. Matthew chapter 7 Verses 7 and 8. Ask and it shall be given you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh, receive it. And he that seeketh, find it. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 24. And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works. Matthew chapter 5, verse 6. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Psalm 37, verse 23. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. Matthew chapter 16, verse 24. Then said Jesus unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Matthew chapter 5, verse 16. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 12. Let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity. First Corinthians chapter 7, verses 17 through 24. But as God hath distributed to every man, as the Lord hath called every one, so let him walk, and so ordain I in all churches. Is any man called being circumcised? Let him not become uncircumcised. Is any called in uncircumcision? Let him not be circumcised. Circumcision is nothing, and uncircumcision is nothing but the keeping of the commandments of God. Let every man abide in the same calling wherein he was called. Art thou called being a servant? 
care not for it, but if thou mayest be made free, use it rather. For he that is called in the Lord, being a servant, is the Lord's free men. Likewise also he that is called, being free, is Christ's servant. Ye are bought with a price. Be not ye the servants of men. Brethren, let every man wherein he is called therein abide with God. Romans chapter 8 verses 28 through 30. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called, and whom he called, them he also justified, and whom he justified, them he also glorified. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verses 8 and 9. Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me his prisoner, but be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel, according to the power of God, who have saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given us in Christ Jesus before the world began. Matthew chapter 28, verses 19 through 20. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. Matthew chapter 22, verse 14. For many are called, but few are chosen. John chapter 6, verse 44. No man can come to me except the Father which has sent me draw him, and I will raise him up at the last day. Philippians chapter 1, verse 6. Being confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it unto the day of Jesus Christ. God, we thank you for this lesson. Let our hearts be good ground in the name of Jesus. Help us to bring forth fruit, Father, keeping your word in the name of Jesus. Help us to know your voice, Father, and your spirit and your presence, God. In the name of Jesus, God, we thank you for the calling. We will answer when you call, Father. We will say, speak, Lord, for your servant heareth you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Thank God and amen. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.